Bonjour et bienvenue. The first question that many language learners ask is why they should learn French. After all, learning a new language requires a lot of dedication and a little extra motivation goes a long way. So, why French? Well, here are some of the reasons why you should learn French. Firstly, it's one of the world's 15 most spoken languages. It's estimated that there are over 220 million French speakers worldwide. This makes French one of the top 10 most spoken languages in the world. It's spoken on five continents, from the streets of Paris to the shores of Africa, the islands of the Caribbean and everywhere in between. French speakers can be found in North America, South America and the Caribbean, Africa, Europe and even in formerly French-occupied parts of Asia. This makes it an extremely useful language for traveling the world. It's your entrance into Europe and international relations. French is the second most widely spoken language in Europe and the second most widely learned language after English. It's also both a working and official language of the United Nations, the European Union, UNESCO, the International Red Cross, International Courts, and the International Olympic Committee. You'll be one of many fellow French language learners. French is also the second most widely taught language after English throughout the world. It's taught on nearly every continent. This means that there are many, many French learning resources out there and you'll have a wide network of French language learners for support as well. It's a great career asset. French is very useful in the business world since many multinational companies in a wide range of sectors use French as their working language. It also opens the door to history and culture. Learning French is your gateway into the fascinating French-speaking world. You'll be able to access the great works of French writers in their original versions, enjoy wonderful French movies and understand beautiful French songs. It can help you to learn other languages. French is an excellent, excellent foundation for learning other similar Latin-based languages. These include Spanish, Italian, Portuguese, Romanian and even some English since about one third of modern English comes from French. Believe it or not, learning French will help you improve your English vocabulary. It's easier to learn French than you think actually. You may have heard that French is a difficult language for English speakers to learn, but that's not really the case. 
French is actually considered one of the easiest languages for English speakers to learn. This is a big benefit if you're hoping to learn French fast. What you should know about the French and their language is that in general, the French are really polite. While dealing with the locals, you will hear a lot of merci, excusez-moi, and s'il vous plaît. It is perfectly normal to say bonjour to complete strangers, the people you are just passing by while you're walking alone on the street. No one will think that you're strange or crazy. It's perfectly normal. So, let's have a look at the basic greetings in French. These are fairly simple and you no doubt already know at least some of them. Let's begin. The most common way to say hello in French is bonjour, literally meaning good day. Bonjour is the most commonly used French greeting. Whether you go to a restaurant, meet someone randomly on the street or enter a boulangerie, all you have to say is bonjour. Salut. Hi. Salut meaning hi or hello or sometimes even bye. Salut is the informal French greeting you can use with family and friends, but not with your boss or your teacher. Bon matin is good morning. European French doesn't have an equivalent for good morning. So it's good to know that while in France, you shouldn't use bon matin. But if you happen to spend a charming morning in Paris, you can safely use, you've guessed it, bonjour. Bonsoir, good evening. Bonsoir, good evening. The same as the classic bonjour, bonsoir is a universal greeting suitable for more social context. The only restriction is the moment of the day. So once evening settles in, it is safe to switch from bonjour to bonsoir. Bon nuit. Bon nuit. Good night. Literally meaning good night, bon nuit is used more as a goodbye sometimes than as a hello. So if you are spending time with your French friends, Bon nuit is a great way to let them know that you're retiring. Enchanté. Enchanté. Nice to meet you. In a more formal setting, it's polite to indicate that you're delighted to meet someone after they introduce themselves. And this phrase is the perfect way to do so. It shows that you are actually pleased to meet someone new. Who knows? It could lead to a beautiful friendship in the future. Allo is hello. This French greeting is used exclusively for conversations on the phone. Sava, Sava, how are you? A very simple way to ask someone how they are doing is to say Sava. Cuckoo. Sounds cute, isn't it? Cuckoo means hey. Close friends use this casual French greeting often. You can skip the formal bonjour and use this word when you're seeing close friends. Merci. Merci. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. When you want to express that out. Excusez-moi. Pardon. Excusez-moi. Pardon, excuse me or sorry. Excuse me or sorry. Both can be used to apologize or when you're trying to get past. That's all for today. Stay tuned for the second video on greetings.